translations for We Like Chapter 12. These are the two we assigned. First number seven, post paucus oras kaiser asium kepit. So where's my verb? It's kepit. And that is indicative. We're still just working with the indicative, but it is perfect, active, third singular. So it's gonna be translated he, she, it, took, or has taken, perfect tense. Do I have a nominative to be the subject? I do, Kaiser is in the nominative. So the sentence is Kaiser took. What did he take? I need a direct object. I have a direct object. I have something in the accusative case. Remember, I'm always looking for an accusative when I'm looking for a direct object. So uh, Kaiser took or captured Asia, the province of Asia which is now in Turkey. Now you may have seen also paucus oras, those are also accusative, but they're being governed by this preposition. They're in the accusative because they're following a preposition, not because they are the direct object. So now we can add uh, Kaiser captured Asia after a few hours. So after a few hours, Kaiser captured Asia. All right, number 10. Where is fuet toti popolo cara? So where's my verb? Uh, that's fuet. This is also perfect, indicative, active, third, singular from the verb to be. So this is going to be he, she, it, was, or has been. Uh, we can uh, translate the perfect either as a simple past or as an English perfect, either way. Do I have a nominative? I do, it's veritas. So it's truth was. Truth was what? Well, I, I'm not looking for a direct object. An accusative, no. Uh, I'm not looking for that because I don't have a transitive verb. The verb to be, on the other side of that, I look for another nominative. So instead of looking for an accusative, I'll look for another nominative, and there it is. So truth was dear, or truth was precious, let's say. Truth was precious, and now what am I gonna do with igitur? That just means thus or therefore, so we'll say, therefore truth was precious, toti populo. What do I do with these? Populo is a noun, means people, and it's dative. So to the people, because two or four is how I translate the dative. Therefore, truth was precious to the people, but I've got another dative. That's a dative adjective. It's also uh, masculine dative singular. Remember the endings don't necessarily have to be the same ending. They just have to agree when a noun and an adjective go together. They just agree in gender, number, and case. So this is also masculine, it's also dative, it's also singular, but um, this takes a third, it's a third declension adjective. Therefore, truth was precious to the whole people, to the entire people. All right, there are the translations for lesson 12.